All right, what is going on, everybody? So, uh, let's talk a little bit about what is going on right now in uh, in the powerlifting life of me. Um, okay, so let me not hide this car. Okay, so most importantly, out of anything, it's a new block, which obviously is sick. Um, new block is all that. All that matters in the general scheme of things, um, powerlifting wise. Sorry, I'm not like thinking, I'm trying to drive and think and whatever at the same time. Uh, anyway, new block, some slight changes, not major changes to be honest, but like today is one of the bigger changes. So I wanted to record today, as well as I'll talk about what happened the last few days. But today is obviously day three of the block, as the title says. Um, today is going to be pause squats and mid grip bench press which is basically close grip bench press with a less close grip. Um, so a quick explanation is basically it's like instead of my pinky, or sorry, instead of my ring finger, which is my normal grip, uh, when I do close grip, I'd line up my thumb. So I'd be two finger lengths closer. Today I'm going to be one finger length closer. So closer. So um, it'll be pinky grip, which is close grip, but not super close grip. Um, so yeah, so that will be mid grip bench press. Um, so this is the biggest change of the block because it's an actual different exercise. Everything else that I'm doing is the same exercises with other different rep ranges or different RPE or like stuff like that. This is the only thing besides like accessories, of course, that's like a new exercise because I replace SSB high bar with pause squats, um, pause low bar. So I'm low barring three times a week now which is cool. Um, and then I'm doing mid grip bench instead of close grip bench, which is a very small change, but still is a change. Um, everything else throughout the block is the same exercises, but different rep ranges and stuff. So I can talk about that a little bit. So like the biggest change for me in day one is right now, like last block I had doubles and doubles uh, for squat and bench. So now I have squat double for the first two weeks of the block, and then it's a single. But my benches are already single, so I'm already on bench singles, which is nice. Um, and then my back officer bench are now tempo bench, which is very different because it used to just be all comp bench. Now it's tempo bench is my back offs. So uh, I get a little bit more technical work on my actual bench day, which is which is good, I feel like, because you get a heavy single and then you get some technical work, so I think that's cool. Um, my second day of the block is deadlifts, was back work still. Nothing's changed there. Still doubles until about two weeks where we'll be singles again. Not again, we'll be singles finally. Um, and then accessory work kind of just like we bumped up sets a little bit, a little bit more volume on accessories for some things, not everything. Um, but let's talk about what happened. So I started my block on Friday. My squats and bench went great. Squats, I'm using my new form, which I talked about in the last video. Uh, new form, closer grip. Everything went well. It was five kilos off an all-time PR for a double. Hit it at six or seven. I think I maybe seven. Like I hit it. I, my goal was seven. Maybe I hit it seven and a half. It's fine. Easy enough. Good. Perfect weight. Like a little bit less than my final week. Beautiful. Everything is perfect. Moved well. Back off moved well. Everything was good. Bench was the same. Uh, I think I was two and a half kilos off an all-time PR. Hit it at like six which is what i'm supposed to be so maybe six and a half depends but i'm a grinder so i call it six which is my goal for the day on bench um and then back offs were all good everything was good accessories were all good everything was chill and saturday was the second day of the block where i had dead so my goal i had rp i think i think my goal is rp is six deads double say rp six double my goal is to just match last block and then add some type of weight, the same RPE. I went to warm up and I'm warming up and my last warm up feels like dog shit. My last warm up was like 145 kilos or something. I spent my working set was supposed to be 160, 145, maybe moved that like an eight for a single. Um, so I was like, okay, something's definitely wrong here. And I was like freaked out because like, I still had, I was going to add 15 kilos for my working sets to have two at six. 
obviously it wasn't going to be possible. My warrant was at eight. But I was like, fuck it. Let's, whatever. Let's just go. Let's just go. Hopefully, I'll just feel better when I get my top set. Went to do my top set and tried to pull it off the ground the first time and didn't come off the ground. Uh, so I called my coach, asked what I should do, tried it again before he like got back to me. Didn't get off the ground again. Didn't even want to pull it because I felt like I was in a weird position. I just didn't feel like it was right. So I didn't pull it. Uh, so I pretty much didn't deadlift on at all. Um, I went to go put on 145 back on the bar to do that for my double. And then that didn't move off the ground. And then I went to do like 140 for a double and that felt like shit. So I didn't do it. So I didn't, I didn't do anything on deads. Um, so I have not deadlifted this week technically because I, I couldn't do it. Uh, and then my back work, well, we had a bench, a three count bench drop off, which was the weirdest thing in the world for me. I literally failed. I was doing like, I think I did 90, I was doing 97 and a half kg or 95 kg, which is like not even a PR. It's like fine. Hit my last warm up, moved well. Did my first, like my top set, it's a single. This is all it is for bench that day. And it got stuck on my chest. And then I went for it again because I was like, I know I can hit this shit. That was bullshit. And I hit it the next time, like pretty easy. So I don't know what was going on. I just think I like, we kind of talked and it was like, hey, maybe hitting PRs. And like, we tried to use the momentum from the last block to keep using momentum and keep hitting PRs and, you know, build up so that at the end of this block, I'm like, way new levels already like already like broken every single pr like ready to taper and ready to get in the comp pretty much even though i have another block between but whatever and we realized that the momentum is great and everything but i can't i can't do it i it's just too much build up of fatigue and too much cns like the destruction um so after doing the heavy squats i guess and the heavy bench after already pring all my stuff last week I'm just fried. Like I was absolutely fried. Like I could, I felt so shitty. I was like, Oh my God. Cause it happens to me a little bit. Like it's always with deads too. It just doesn't come off the floor. Um, I just can't lift it off the floor for whatever reason. It just happens oh, like once a month or like once every two months when I need a deload, it just happens. That's how I know I need to deload. So pretty much the rest of this week is a deload. We didn't actually change anything. It's just like my two primary days are supposed to be still be pretty heavy. And then, the rest of the week was like a deload and then next week is the same and then eventually just get back to normal so like the the last two weeks of the block are always harder obviously it should be you're pushing it and the first two weeks are pretty easy um but for me that doesn't work because i need to take i need to drop off the fatigue from the last block so the rest of this week is pretty much a deload it's not a deload like today nothing changes it's like it's five reps at rp5 so like that basically becomes a deload just because RP five is already pretty easy and it's five reps, so it's gonna be light. So like I should have no issues today or like tomorrow or anything, but like it is really sad to see like my dead not even come off the floor. Um because I haven't really had a plateau like at all with anything in a in a decent little bit besides like my bench a little, but not like nothing like that. Like I couldn't even pull like my warm up felt like shit. Like that hasn't happened in a really long time. So it was a little concerning to me. Um but my coach and me talked and we're all good. It's just it just happens it's built up fatigue so i recorded that day and i ended up scrapping it because the whole point of the video was to deadlift and then do back work and i didn't deadlift so it was just back work so i didn't even record the back work um did the car talk or whatever and it was just not a good workout day to be honest uh, it was also saturday so that wasn't that fun um but i had yesterday off today's monday squats and bench so different tomorrow i have deads pause deads um hopefully those go well because i didn't deadlift this week i need this to go well but today is should be pretty easy to be honest i do still have fucking walking lunges which i'm going to kill myself i hate them but you know what whatever they work and he kept them in the program so i guess i'm gonna do them yeah i don't know uh it was a stressful stressful start to the block though because of that because usually I feel like the start of the block is really easy. It's like a deload leading up to the end of the block where it's hard. So uh, he kind of said like he thinks the start of every block for me is going to kind of be like that. It's just going to be ass because I have so much built up fatigue from hitting heavy numbers in my last, the end of the last block and hitting PRs or whatever I'm doing. It's just a lot of fatigue. So uh, my first few weeks of the new blocks are always going to be kind of ass, which sucks for me. But I can't do anything about it because you got to hit PRs and then you got you to gotta rest. Got to deload a little bit. So, 
yeah, um, I don't know. We'll see how this goes, but hopefully I'm good. I got stoic knee sleeves today, not inserts, because it's my secondary day, technically. So hopefully it doesn't affect too much. I have no clue what I'm doing. Actually, it's RP5 and it's paw squat, so it's definitely going to be lighter. I just don't know how much lighter. Um, I got to honestly figure it out by warm-ups alone. Maybe some type of calculation. Like, I don't know, because paw squats are going to feel different than all the like, normal squats. So we'll see. I don't know. I'm going to drink the pre, and I guess we're going to figure it out together. See you in the gym. All right, we got last warm-up. Hoping to do 120, 120? Working set today? Yeah, 120 for the working set, so as long as this moves well, that's the plan. Let's do a single. See how it looks, but felt pretty good. All right, we got four. Four at five. Should be easy. Our straps are on. Let's go. Make some good pauses for me. Easy enough. All right, so slight change actually. Um, I took off my heels to see how it looks wearing flat shoes. Uh, so we'll see. I have back offsets now, three by five. This should be pretty light. Just want to see what it looks like without a heel on, because it felt a little weird. It looked a little segmented. So hoping without the heel. It either looks better or feels better. Um, we'll see, I guess. But the rack I didn't actually change. I might have to. Uh, we'll see if it looks feels tall. I'll just put the belt a little higher. We'll see. Felt kind of weird, but let's see what it looked like. All right, it didn't feel bad. It just felt weird, and it looked a little weird. So I lowered the rack type by one. I'm gonna stand a little bit wider. We'll see.
All right. Said it looked good. So the only cue now is just let my chest drop a little bit more. And last set. Go a little higher. All right. Let's go. Alright, on the bench. Alright, close mid grip bench press, not close grip bench press, sorry. This is the last warm up. Give you a single. This is really light. Um, I'm just going to make sure my pauses are really good because it's so light today. So we'll see how this moves, but I'm either going to go up to 80, 2.5, or 85. I don't really want to push it. It's week one. It's like a deload, so we'll see. But the squats felt good, so no complaints. Squats definitely look better as I did more. So all right, see how this goes. Easy five. Three, two, one. All right, my coach is being nice and said I can go pretty late on these. So, three by ten walking lunges, still my most hated thing in the world, but only forty five pounds, so really light. Um, might go up if it's really really light, but we'll see how it feels.
hope that was done. All right, I stopped being a bitch. Up to 50. That was pretty late. Still ass, but late. So, two more. Okay, one more. All right, one more. That was a nice RP7. Maybe harder. I'm sorry. Okay, chest press. All right, I'm gonna grind out four sets of ten real quick because I still have volume extensions and single lot push downs. A lot more volume than before, so go. Three more sets of that. Hardest fucking four by ten of my life at seven, bro. This is insane. All right, come on. I need to fucking grind this shit out. Let's go. Leg extension there. Fucking murder me, but that's fine. Three sets as many as possible leg extension. That's gonna kill me. Come on.
This does not feel good at all. I'd like this to be done. We're going partials, everything, complete failure here. That's it. Come on. Fuck. Oh. Three more cuts of this might literally kill me. Whatever. Come on. All right, let's lower the exposure and pose. Um, getting this shit off is gonna be an actual job because I genuinely have a pump. Um, so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. All right.
Alright, let's see if we can get this hole off. Oh, this is a bigger one, not that bad. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we're doing here. Not bad. Um, all right. Let's get in the car. Talk a little about the whole session. Okay. So, what a lift. Holy shit. Okay. Let's talk about a little bit of what happened during the lift. We can go, like, step by step. Um, so, we'll start with, like, squats. So, paw squats went well. Uh, I think RP was perfect. Maybe a little overshot. But it's all right because it's just, you know, it's, it's four reps. So... Uh, in my opinion, once you get above, like, two, three reps, it's really hard to get RP perfect because, like, I end up not being able to do reps because of literally just not being able to, like, breathe or, like, getting my air. Not so much because of, like, uh, not so much because of, like, um, I'm actually not strong enough. So, RP is when it comes to some rep work is honestly kind of hard, which is also why I think, like, anything below RP, like, six or seven is, like, hard to calculate. Um, but yeah, so we'll talk about hot squats. So top set was normal with the squat shoes. Uh, everything was okay. Um, it just felt like a little segmented. Like when I showed my coach, he was like, yeah, it's definitely a little segmented. I was like, yeah, it felt a little weird. So I was like, maybe what if I like try to take off the shoes? Cause I'm standing closer now. Like maybe if I take off the shoes, it'll just like feel better. So he was like, all right. Yeah. He's like, he wants me to do that forever, but he was like, you might like, it's a big adjustment. So it's like, you know, it's not the best thing to do in the middle of a block. Like usually after a meet when you're experimenting and shit, you would do that. But I did it today. I felt good. Um, first set didn't change the rack height, took the shoes off, put my deadlift shoes on and squatted. And it was definitely like, I wasn't really hitting depth like crazy, but it felt good. Like I can actually feel the floor a little bit, which is like good. Cause normally I can't really feel it. So I actually had like contact with the floor and I felt like, like stable almost. Um, but my depth wasn't really there. So he was like, all right, maybe widen your stance a little bit because you have your, your heels, like no heels anymore. And lower the rack height one. So I lowered the rack height by one. Uh, I widened my stance a little bit and it felt really, really, really good. Like it, it was good. Um, squats felt like good. Like they looked, they felt, they looked good. Uh, the only advice for like my last set was just let my chest fall because I guess I was trying to stand, like, I was trying to keep my chest up, because, like, that's normally what I would do, but he was like, listen, you're tall, so your chest is going to drop anyway, just let it drop to where it wants to be, um, and I honestly, I did that, and I think it was really good, so I don't think I'm going to wear squat shoes anymore, which means I don't wear squat shoes for anything anymore, I went from wearing squat shoes for bench, and, uh, for squat and bench, to not wearing it at all, which is pretty cool, because that means I'm just, like, evolving, and, like, most people don't wear squat shoes, um, especially if they don't need to, like, so I, the way I felt at least was like, I felt like I can get like ass to grass squat without squat shoes and I felt comfortable. So normally that wasn't a thing for me, but now I'm not wearing them and I think it's going to be good. So that should be an interesting change. Um, I also bought different squat shoes because I was talking to my coach and I was like, the problem I have with my deadlift shoes, my, my Sabo deadlift shoes, sorry, not squat shoes, new deadlift shoes, because my Sabo is the ones I wear all the time. You guys have seen in every video. The heels are kind of designed. They look like they're like curved up. So even when I'm planting my heel into the ground, it looks like my heel's off the ground, which isn't really an issue except when you get to bench and you have a judge that's looking at your heels and seeing if your heels move or they're down. If the shoe doesn't ever look like your heel is down, they're going to call it that your heel is not down. So just for the purpose of that, I bought different deadlift shoes. So I'll at least wear them for bench. I don't know if I'll wear them for anything else. It depends how they feel on my foot um, and how like how much better I like them, and to be honest. But I will be wearing them for... Um, 
for uh, when I my bench for sure, no matter what, because you actually can tell my heels on the ground with those. Um, for bench, we adjusted a little bit today, not much. It was just like trying to refine the setup a little bit because I know I can get way more arch, um, and I know I can get more power off the chest and a softer touch. Uh, and it's just like adjustments and obviously today is like closer grip. So it's going to look different. It's going to be longer range of motion, but just wanting to make sure like my, my chest is in a good spot. My back's in a good spot. Um, my feet are planted into the ground. I'm pushing into the bench. Like it's all this stuff. It's like a little stuff, just a little bit of refinement today. Hopefully, uh, yeah, so that I can get a really consistent setup, um, which would be nice, uh, which I can get a consistent setup. So that will be nice. Um, other than that, the walking lunges, I was told not to push, so I didn't, but I did go up and wait because I was like, all right, I'm being a little bitch. 40 pounds is nothing. So I still did fifties, uh, which matched my RP from, from last block. Uh, and then he added an extra set of chest press, an extra set of leg extensions and an extra set of push downs. So the volume was definitely getting to me today. You guys saw, I was fucking tired. Uh, I'm exhausted. I was literally going to say this is the hardest deload I've ever done in my fucking life. Uh, but it's obviously not an actual deal. It's just the start of a block. So it's just a little different, but holy shit, me turning left is not going to happen. Oh, I'm going to have to cut somebody off. This is going to be unfortunate for somebody. Holy shit. This line is insane. Well, okay. Anyway. So yeah, so the extra volume I'm definitely going to feel, but I felt good. Uh, I think the pump was honestly pretty good. I'm not going to complain about the pump at all. And yeah, it was just a solid workout. So uh, I'm going to go back. I'm actually not going to make my signature pre um, post workout meal because it is six. It's five thirty. So uh, I'm going to probably have a salad, actually, and then have my meal preps. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of in the mood for salad right now, and I bought salad mixes. So I might do that. And, uh, yeah, it was a solid workout. Um, I would love to record tomorrow, but I don't think I'm going to record back-to-back just because it's a lot. Like, I don't like really recording back-to-back. So uh, we'll see. But holy shit, this line is awful. Yeah, I need to turn left, so this is, like, bad. <laughs> what is going on? Oh my, yeah, I'm gonna join you actually. Holy, what is going on? This is bad. This is really bad. Turning left, this is an awful line. I don't know, but it was a solid workout. Um, felt good. Definitely gonna go eat some, some good food now, recover, sleep well. Took a test before, so it's been a little bit of a stressful three days, but get to relax, just get comfortable with the new block and everything, and hopefully everything's all good, so uh, I will see you guys in the next one and uh, hopefully I'm going to record my next deadlift session because I need to make up for it and if I film, I haven't done deadlifts on the channel in so long, so I wanted to show you guys my new deadlift form and all that, so I'm going to record the next deadlift session, but I'll see you guys in that one